Welcome back, guys, to yet another episode of Ethan Hila. We are delighted to have you with us. Today, we've got on deck a classic reaction video by one of our favorite goofsters, gasters, laughters, and pranksters, and a literal prankster of all time. Oc TV, otherwise best known as Cock TV. <laughs> so, look. You got all the facts. Let's just watch the video. What's up, guys? I'm Mo Bradbury. I'm Ethan Bradbury. How would your children react if there was a house fire? Would they know how to escape? Well, today, we're gonna put that to the test. Stop walking to me. Stop walking towards me like that. What was that intro? What is his face? Why is his name Ethan? Why does it feel like they just killed someone? What? Can we watch it again? What is he trying to express with his face right now? Oh is he trying God. to save my kids or fucking murder, rape them? Let's watch it again. What's up guys, I'm Mo Bradbury. I'm Ethan Bradbury. How would your children react if there was a house fire? Why are you pointing at me? What's with the po- Why are you so aggressive? You're trying to save my kids from a house fire. What's up guys, I'm Mo Bradbury. This is the weirdest intro. It starts so scary. I'm Ethan Bradbury. What's up, I'm Ethan Bradbury. I'm Ethan Bradbury. Would they know how to escape? Well, today, we're gonna put that to the test. I cannot get over his gaze. I can't even focus on what he's saying. I'm Ethan Bradbury. You want to save your kids from a house fire? Get them outside so I can sp so they can sit in my lap. I'm Ethan Bradbury. According to the National Fire Protection Association, just last year there were over one million fires reported in the United States. These fires caused. Th Where do you find footage like that? Why did they choose this footage? <laughs> I guess this yeah is to make you feel like these bozos are not saving anybody. Yeah. If you want to be saved, it's gonna be us. On Watch our, our YouTube, video. YouTube channel, Ethan and Mo Bradbury. I'm Ethan Bradbury. And subscribe and follow us on Snapchat. That will save your kids' lives, not these bozos. They can't even help themselves up a fucking ladder. I placed a water vapor fog machine to play the role of a house being smoked out, which is absolutely harmless. To watch over the children, we have a safety crew inside the house. Oh, ah. oh God. I, oh, God. That is not a safety crew. That's Dennis C. <laughs> TV. Oh my God. It looks so Looking scary. like Gollum coming out of his cave after the ring. Why are they all so creepy? Why do you say a safety crew and then show this kid? Like, what, this guy's the savior and the firefighter bozos aren't? Right now we're with Cameron and his wife, Brittany. With their permission, we're going to go inside and smoke out the whole house while their kids are asleep. We're going to see if they make it out on time. So you guys think your sons and daughters will make it out on time? Uh, can we get Parents of the Year awards for these two <laughs> fine couples, please? Okay, today we are going to traumatize our own sweet, innocent, young kids into thinking they're burning alive and their parents are there to help them. Oh Let's God. see how they react. It's perfectly harmless to them, don't worry. Just a lifetime of trauma and distrust. It's harmless, though. And don't worry, Gollum is hiding <laughs> under the living room table to save them. Whoa, 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 did you see that hair whip? What the Ooh. fuck was that shit? <laughs> what did I miss? What was the hair with? I'm Ethan Bradbury. Gotta look good. Watch me whip. Now watch, watch me, nay, nay, nay. Now All watch right. me traumatize your sweet children. Okay. This is really scary to wake up to. The alarm is this going. This is terrifying. It's They're like, like covered in smoke. And the, the noise of the alarm is like freaking. Well, at the same time, it's harmless. They said it's harmless. <laughs> Don't worry. Once the kids see Ethan Bradbury whipping his hair, <laughs> they're going to forget all about this that this yeah. ever happened. I'm Ethan Bradbury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Ethan Bradbury. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. Thumbs up for this little hero. I tell you what, if I wasn't so paranoid about fake pranks on YouTube, I'd probably think this was real. Yeah. But the but fact that I know that they fake all their pranks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fake. It's probably fake. It's a pretty insane thing yeah. to do for real. Oh, you did so good. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to do that. I just had to see if you were going to get out okay. Mommy, I thought we were all going to die. I thought you guys burned alive. Yeah. They come out like they were expecting them to be there. They just jump on them. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're not surprised. Fake alert. They're not surprised that everyone is waiting outside. Fake alert. I just feel like their their effort to actually improve the world is so disingenuous. Just looking at them standing there trying to like <laughs> make some contribution to this yeah. is just like hilariously awkward. <laughs> I mean, what exactly is this social experiment's contribution to the world? Make par parents more paranoid. Make parents more paranoid. Oh my God, my kids wouldn't know what to do. Oh, it's Kate. Her son's been asleep for a while now. For a while? Yeah, what? What have you been, you guys been watching him? I'm with Kate. Her son's been asleep for a while now. We've been watching him closely. My friend, my brother here, Ethan Bradbury, has been under his bed, listening, watching, smelling him. Especially smelling him. I think he's, uh... He's out cold. He's out cold? All right, so with the permission of Kate, we're gonna go upstairs, fog out the whole entire house. He's out cold, guys. He's out cold. Yeah, it sounds like, like they gave no him something. waking up. What? Look at him! <laughs> he looks so disturbed! It looks like it's he's... so scary! Dude, if I walked into an elevator with a guy that looked like that, I would fucking say my prayers, you know what I'm saying? Go okay. do this. Let's go. What's up, Ronald McDonald? You're not gonna uh -huh. whip your nene? <laughs> I want some hair whipping, dude. You're yeah. not operating that machine correctly. <laughs> Shit, he's like the Terminator with that thing, dude. Yeah. Look at that posture. Muscular, confident. Pretty loud. You think the kid would hear that? <laughs> For like probably like well, an they, hour. They knocked the kid He's out, out cold. He's yeah. out cold. He's in, he won't hear a thing. Ethan Bradbury took care of the kid. <laughs> he won't hear a thing. He won't feel a thing. <laughs> He'll be a little sore in the morning, but that's it. He won't know why. Don't go to the rape. <coughs> well, you were implying it. I was just following your yeah, thought. Yeah, but don't say it. I didn't say it. You said it. No. I said he'd be sore in the morning and you said rape. Why would he be sore? That's a mystery, okay? He doesn't know and I don't know. Only Ethan okay, Bradbury we knows. Know. <laughs> Only Ethan Bradbury knows. It's called a fire, little belly. Your whole family's dead and you're the only one left. Do you stay and let the fire consume you with your sadness because your life is ruined? Or do you try to save yourself and doom yourself to eternal torment knowing that your whole family died and you didn't do anything to save them? And don't worry, it's harmless. It's harmless, it's harmless. Bobby, please answer me, what? Please answer me, it's breaking my heart, yeah. poor kid, dude. It sounds real. Okay, I can't, I'm confused now because yeah. why would a kid go in a closet? Yeah. I mean, that's juicy for the video. Yeah. When you know one of these pranks takes a turn that's like so juicy for the video. Like, who? why would you go in a closet if you think the house is burning, even yeah. as a kid? Even as a kid, you would want to run out. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. I don't get the closet. Been there for a long time. You think he's gonna make it out on time? He's fine. He'll, he, he knows exactly what to do. He knows where to go what to do if there's ever an emergency. He's, co he's coming out. Your kid is fucking dead, lady. He's fucking dead, and so are you, by the way, in his mind. Harmless, <laughs> though, harmless, completely harmless. He's, co he's coming out. All right, I hope He'll so. He'll be fine. Hopefully. He will. That's the goal. Oh, nice acting, nice. Yeah, that was kind of bad. I hope so. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully my brother doesn't get to him first, you know what I mean? Somehow all these pranks always end up with the parent like, What is the matter with you? Didn't I Are you crazy? You? Are you out of your mind? Michaela! To cut Didn't her they out. show you the video on YouTube? Yeah. When we're sleeping, when we're at home, when we're eating dinner, it can happen any time. I'm so sorry. 
You have to prepare for when things like these happen, you know? We have to prepare for any time anything like this happens. Mommy, who are these fucking weirdos? <laughs> Why are yeah. they with you? Yeah. Why is the house full of smoke and who are these two weirdos? If there's one thing you want to say to the people watching behind the camera, what would it be? It would be, make sure you- It would be, focus <laughs> before you should. <laughs> you no, know, you hiding in the closet could have got you really killed if this was a real house fire. Don't Why fucking do shame that? him. Don't shame the poor kid. Oh my god. Like, dude, he didn't do anything wrong. He was scared. You could have been murdered. Like, uh, this is not Kobe person. You know what I mean? The kid was scared. This is not a time or place for that. The fuck's the matter with you, kid? You could have <laughs> died. Okay, during this little prank, you know, where I pretended to kill your parents and set your house on fire. What's the matter with you? Look to the camera and answer me. Completely harmless. <laughs> you know it takes up to two minutes to die from smoke inhalation? Thank God it wasn't a real fire and it was just a test. You know what kid, if this video doesn't get 10 million views, you're grounded. <laughs> Alright? And don't forget the face. <laughs> because I sure won't forget yours. Some Ethan Bradbury? Okay, so, I mean, I guess the message wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad in this one. It's like, I guess if you believe it's real, it's like, okay, be prepared for fire safety. But I, I mean, what's the big fucking deal? I think most people who die in fires is probably just because either they were sleeping, you know, or the yeah. fire was just insane. I think yeah. in, intuitively... I'm sure no one went into a closet. Nobody goes into a fucking closet. Intuitively, if you see a fire, you try to get out of the house. I mean, if you need to explain that to somebody, they're doomed to begin yeah. with. I think mostly it's just funny how these two guys are, tr are like playing these these like caring characters yeah. who are traumatizing kids and then yelling yeah. at them. They got this classy style, you know. The, that first intro yeah. was amazing. I'll never, I'll never forget that. No, those class acts. Yeah. You can tell that they really mean it. You know what I mean? What's up, guys? I'm Mo Bradbury. I'm Ethan Bradbury. So, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you all learned a very valuable lesson today and that is that um, do never ever let Ethan Bradbury near your kids. <laughs> okay, because the smoke might be harmless, but the things he whispers in your kid's ear when you're not around, they will never forget. So guys, thank you so much for joining us as always. We love you, we appreciate you, and we will be seeing you next time. Thank you, bless, romp, riot, and ball on. Balls on.